Hey guys! So in this video, as you can tell by the title, I will be doing a what's on my iPhone 6 and also I'm going to be doing a review if you guys want. So I will do that. Please note this that I am not trying to brag in any way. I just really wanted to do this video because for me, knowing that there's a new phone out and like everyone's so crazy about it, I just felt like it would be nice to tell you guys how this product is if you're planning on buying it so I just really wanted to put this video out and yeah I just felt like I needed to help a lot more people out so if you're planning on buying this phone then just watch this video and see if you want to buy it or not but okay this is my iPhone I don't have a case on it just yet it is pretty huge it's like almost the size of my hand but the iPhone 6 Plus was the size of my hand. It was the size of my hand. It was really big and like tall so as you can see it's not that bad unlike the 6 plus it was pretty huge. So I will be doing a comparison on the iPhone 6 with the 5s and the iPhone 4 and I will also be doing a review and then I'll show you what's on my iPhone. So a comparison with the iPhone 6 which is now my phone and my older sister's phone which is the iPhone 5s and also the iPhone 4. If you want to see how big it is with the iPhone 4, it's that big. It's pretty huge, um, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, this is really huge compared to the iPhone 4. And this is the thickness of the iPhone 4 and the thinness of the iPhone 6. So. It's a pretty huge difference. I feel like I should take off the case. That would really help. By the way, if you want to know where this case is from, it's from dresslink.com. Alright, so here is the comparison of the thinness. That's how thin and thick it is. Now with the 5S, how big it is, it's actually not that bad. You can't really see the screen because this is the space gray color. So. I mean it works so here is just the comparison between these two phones they are similar but they're not identical obviously so uh, here's the thickness and thinness so those that's kind of a comparison between the phones so now I'm gonna give this back to my older sister so I ordered this phone on the 23rd of September and then I got it yesterday which was the 25th so I know that's crazy, it was only like two days to ship, I don't- I honestly thought that it would take two to three weeks because that's what the guy said from my phone carrier thing. And yeah, he said it would take like two to three weeks and I, I was kind of crying. So yes, I just got the iPhone 6 Gold, I love gold. But I think that's all that I have to say about a review and comparison. If I have anything else to say, I'll leave it like at the end of the video or something. But um, now let's go ahead and see what's on my iPhone. Now on to what's on my phone. But first I, I want to show you guys like all the how it's designed and stuff so yes I just got the gold as you can see and I don't have a case for it again because I just got it and I didn't have time to get any but I'll give you a little close-up of how the camera looks if you can see the camera does pop out just a tiny bit it just has a ring around it and it does pop out just a tiny bit which makes it uneven when you put it on a flat surface so that's the only thing that kind of ticks me off because I feel like the camera lens is going to scratch. It's alright, I'll just have to deal with it. Oh yeah, and the lock button is now on the side, the right side. It's no longer up here. And that is the volume and the, the ringer or the vibrate. This is just my background. I got it from tumblr and it does have the touch id so all you have to do is put your finger on it and you're in now to give you a little bit of a zoom inside my phone um first of all my background is also from tumblr i think it's just really pretty they're like flowers and stuff okay so um this is my first page so i have a calendar clock contact settings and then i have photos facetime videos notes weather maps calculator ibooks app store itunes store music mail health tips podcast imovie reminders voice memos 
game center and utilities in my utilities folder i just have the things that i don't use at all i just have newsstand passbook compass and stocks so when you do get the iphone 6 it comes with um iMovie for free ibooks tips and it also this thing called health and i think it's for like fitness and stuff so uh, body measurements, fitness, health, and all that stuff, sleep, yeah, all of that. Um, and also if you go on the app store and you get your new iPhone 6, all of these apps are free, like iTunes U, where is it? <laughs> um, there were so many more, but I don't know where it went. But yeah, you get a lot of things for free, like iMovie, you got that for free, because I downloaded that, so... I can upload my vlogs. Uh, so yeah, that is the first page, really boring. Now on the bottom here is just my phone, messages, Safari, and my camera. So if you guys wanna see the camera, here is the quality of the front. That is the quality of the front of the phone. I think it's really nice. It's, an, it's a great improvement. Maybe because I just had the iPhone 4 and it was a huge improvement towards the iPhone 4 and the 6. That's just crazy. That's just what it looks like. And then this is what the front looks like. So let me just put like my iPhone case on there. So that's the camera quality. I think it's really good. I, I really like it. So that's just the camera. <laughs> now on to the second page. I have YouTube because YouTube is honestly live. So is Twitter. And if you don't follow me on Twitter, make sure you do self-promotion. It is Danica and Makeup. I favorite mostly everything that you guys send me. So yeah, make sure you follow me. It's Danica and Makeup. And you guys can like catch up to my life and stuff. And I also have Instagram. So if you are not following me, make sure you follow me. It's also Danica and Makeup. And you would have known that before I even uploaded this video, before I even uploaded this video, I gave my Instagram follows a little sneak peek. So make sure you follow me on Instagram for more sneak peeks. So I gave them a sneak peek. So then after Instagram, I have Snapchat and my Snapchat is personal. So I'm very sorry. If you guys want me to make a separate Snapchat just for you guys, please tell me in the comments below. I would really love to because I think that's a great way to also interact with you guys. So tell me in the comments below if you want me to make another Snapchat just for you. And then I also have a photography folder, which I use just to edit my Instagram pictures, but honestly, I don't edit them as much anymore. I just use, I do use VSCO cam, but I only use just like two features, which is nothing to me. Plus Square Ready, which I talked about in my last What's on my iPhone, where you just have those white banners. But anyways, I also have PicCollage and PixArt, which I don't use often. I have Spotify and Spotify is the life. It's amazing. It has the best music out there. And then I also have Gmail and Winello. If you don't know what Winello is, or I don't know how to say it, but it's W-A-N-E-L-O. I just have some products that I saved here if I want it. So it's kind of like a wish list. So I just have a lot, a lot of stuff. And then I also have Vine. If you want to follow me on Vine, that'd be pretty cool too. <gasps> I love them. I love them. I also have Tumblr, which is kind of personal, kind of not. But if you know my Tumblr, then good for you. I just don't feel like giving it out right now. And then I also have Netflix because I watch all of my favorite shows on Netflix. They're perfect. Um, AKA Gossip Girl, which I am rewatching. Yes. And Vampire Diaries, AHS and a lot of other shows. And then I also have Shazam, which lets me know if like there's a song on the radio that I don't know. 
I would use Shazam. Then I also have Pinterest, Starbucks, and Minion Rush. And this is my favorite game, as you can tell, because it's the only game that I have on my phone. So I really like that game. And then I also have Quizlet, which helps me out when I have, like, vocabulary test so you guys that's everything on my iphone 6 please tell me if you enjoyed it or not i will really appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up and also comment below your twitter instagram snapchat and your vine or something and i will make sure to follow you back that's everything for this video i hoped it helped somehow to whether you want the phone or you like it or you don't like it it's your opinion these are just some of my opinions about the new phone so that's everything inside my iPhone I again I'm in love with her she's my new love I love it so much there's nothing really bad that I want to say about it but um, except for the fact that I need a case or else something bad's gonna happen but I hope the comparison and the review and everything was helpful so make sure you give this video a thumbs up if it helped you anyway or if you liked it. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video which will be coming up soon and I love you. Bye! This is how we do.